more from Twitter and the internet tonight about what is happening in relation to this promissory note deal or proposed deal than the government told us in their contributions here tonight in this debate in this legislation. And that's the level that democracy under your watch has sunk to. What are the interests of the state that have to be protected? You won't tell us. You won't lay it out on, 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 here in the House for us to see. Is it that bondholders will be running to court in the, mor in, in the morning to try and secure the, the full payment of their debts and the creditors of IBRC? Come out and tell us what it is so that we can know what we're voting on and why this, ne this legislation is so necessary. The one thing we do know from tonight is that the ECB will get every penny of the prom promissory notes because of this legislation. This will be transferred to will be transferred from, Ang from IBRC into the central bank and on to the ECB. So the best that we can hope for is that we'll get a reduction of the, in the 8% interest rate. And that's the best that the Irish people can hope for. And extend it out for 40 years with a balloon payment at the, at the end of that. The Taoiseach, when he gave his contribution, I listened to it. And I thought, I thought, it, was, I thought it was talking about the actual deal he, he was. I think you must have mixed up your speeches. You said that this deal is ending a dark chapter in our history. What deal? Thank you, David. All, all this is in this legislation is liquidizing or uh, liquidating Anglo-Irish Bank. So where is the deal? You also said that we are now a poor but perhaps wiser people. And we certainly are. And my fear is that after tomorrow, we will be poorer and we will be wiser. And it will not be to our benefit. So, Margaret, you have to... Um,